The Thunderbolt is one of Kennywood's best roller coasters, probably the best wooden coaster at the park. Now, something that just happened very recently, catches many of us by surprise, is the fact that they removed the iconic mural. You're probably thinking this is just some random wall of Kennywood, okay? You know, there's no big deal here. But no, that wall was this wall just a few weeks ago. So why is a wall such a big deal? Like, why am I making such a big deal out of a random wall of Kennywood? Well, that's not just some random wall. It's the iconic Thunderbolt mural. It's been there for the last well over 20 years. It has greeted each guest that rides the Thunderbolt every single time. And many locals are attached to this mural. Why are we attached to it? It's just something that's been there. And in a snap of a finger, it's already gone. And you know, us Pittsburghers do not like change. People say all the time, bring back the log jammer, bring back the log jammer. The log jammer is long gone. It was falling apart, had patches everywhere. It was just a mess. And there was obviously a reason behind its removal. Now, the reason behind this Thunderbolt mural removal, we do not know, but there could be something better coming. When something goes wrong, people always look to the negative. How about we look to the positive? Number one, not a pointless ride removal. Thankfully here, we're just dealing with walls. It's not a big deal compared to a ride. Now, Kennywood in the past did remove some rides and the guests were not very happy about some of those. I am talking about the year they removed four rides, 2020, the Kangaroo, Volcano, Paratrooper, and the Baron Curve. In 2022, the Kangaroo did return, but the other three rides, they did not. And there's obviously a reason behind everything, because why would they just remove one of their perfectly fine rides for no reason? Well, this leads into my next positive thing to look at. Number two, change. No, not the change in your pocket. I don't need that. I'm talking about changes in the park. We just got Spinvasion last year in 2023, and now this mural fiasco in 2024. Now, it might not be a fiasco. Changes can be good and they can be bad. But the good thing here is Kennywood wants to be fresh. They want to refresh some areas that haven't been touched in decades. And there's nothing wrong with that because we all like a nice refresh. Personally, I don't like how they invaded the Pagoda building. The Pagoda building looked fine, but that's something they did to try to refresh the park. Same thing with Pizza Warehouse. They didn't have to do that, but they did that. And now with this mural, they're probably just trying to refresh it. Maybe they'll repaint it exactly how it was. They're just redoing it so it looks freshly painted. Or if they are going for a new approach, then who knows what this will look like. But you can't judge it until it's done. When it's done, ready to look at, you can judge all you want. But don't judge it just because it's a blank wall right now. It goes back to the good old saying, don't judge a book by its cover. Kennywood's cooking up something good, we just gotta wait for it to be done. And I say this every time I make a video like this. Don't attack Kennywood because of this. This is just a wall. It's a wall. Look up from your phone or your TV or whatever you're watching this on, you're gonna see a wall. Most likely that wall's hideous. But with the right stuff, you can make that wall look pretty good. So don't be mad that Kennywood got rid of the old mural. The only thing you should really be mad about is if they just left it blank. That's a Jagoff type of move. And you know, we don't like Jagoffs. But once again, we'll just have to wait and see, because we don't know what they're doing yet. It's hit or miss, 50-50, whether it'll look good or not. But once again, it's just a wall. That's all I can say. I mean, what do you want me to say about this? It's a wall. Are you really going to ruin your day at Kennywood over a wall? Now, I get where other people are coming from. It's iconic. It's historic in some way, shape, or form. But at the end, we just got to move on. People hated it when the turnpike got removed for Skyrocket. People moved on within the next few years. When Log Jimmer got removed for Steel Curtain, most people moved on within the next few years. Some people, yeah, they don't like it. They don't like change, but they're not just gonna magically rebuild a Log Jammer for this one person who can't get over the removal of it. So people are gonna hate this too, depending what they do. If they just redo it, refresh it, same exact thing, people can't be too mad about that. If it's a completely different design, then people could be mad about it, but oh well. People are gonna be people, people are gonna hate it, people are gonna love it. People are people, you cannot please everybody. To finally wrap this all up, 
Kennywood is just trying to make the experience better for everybody. They don't want to let that mural rot for the next 20 years. They want to refresh it, make it look cool, make it look freshly painted. That's their whole goal here. Their whole goal is to make that area of the park look better. If you love it, good. If you hate it, oh well. That's all you really can say in the end. So enough with me talking here. What do you guys think about this? Do you like this idea? Do you hate this idea? What do you think will be on the new mural if they make a new mural in the first place? Let me know all that stuff in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. You heard my opinion, now I gotta hear yours. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications for more content like this. I post tons of other coaster content and Kennywood content on this channel that you will not want to miss. If you want to go into deeper discussion about this and Kennywood related content, go join my Discord server, linked in the description down below. I thank you all for watching, and remember, let's ride.